my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're continuing with our wrapping paper. In the last video we did embossing and I'll link to that below. And in this video we are using pens. So I'm gonna work with design space images today. So I'm going to go to images and I've typed in gnome and I've done draw only so that I get that nice single line. And I'm going to choose this little guy here and this little girl. So I want them to be multi-coloured. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate them. And I'm probably going to do sort of five layers. I'm then going to highlight all five, align and centre. And I'm going to change the colour on each layer. So on this one, I'm going to go for a red. So I know that I want to use a red pen. This one I'm going to do green. So I know to use a green pen. I'm going to go for yellow on this one for gold. I'm going to go black for white. And then the last one I'm going to go for a blue colour. Now when I open my contour tool up, which is what we're going to use in a second, it will always come up in the middle of my screen. So if I want to see what's going on with my image, I always move it to this side. Now it's really important when you're going to contour layers that you make sure that they're all aligned and centered and they're all the same size. So I'm actually gonna hide all of the layers except for the red one. I can then select that and open up my contour. So I find the easiest way is to hide all contours and then I can bring back which ones I want. Now it will always leave one up. So if you want that to be removed, you need to choose another contour before you can take away that one. But actually I, I do want that one. So I'm gonna select the areas that I want to be in red. And I can then close that down. So next I'm going to bring back my green layer and open up my contour. And exactly the same as before, I'm going to hide all contours and then I can choose the lines that I want to be green. And I can of course take that one away. I'm then going to bring the yellow, which actually is going to be my white layer, and I'm going to contour, hide all contours, and then choose the pieces I want for that. I want to change that red one a minute because I'm going to put his hands as little red gloves, I think. So I can add on to there. And then that last layer, I'm going to change the colour on that to blue. And then contour, hide all contours. And then that is ready. So all I'm going to do is attach all of those together. So now I can work on this one. So I'm going to duplicate the first layer and I'm going to make that yellow. I'm going to duplicate it again and the duplicate I'm going to make red. I'm going to duplicate again and turn it to green. I can duplicate again and let's do a purple. I can highlight, align and centre and then I can hide all but one of the layers. So if I go to my contour so I can hide all contours and then start bringing back where I want to. And I'm just going to do exactly the same method as I did for the man. And again, once I'm happy, I can attach that all together. So I want these to be the same height. So I'm going to make them a height of five inches. And then I'm going to highlight both and I'm going to align, align top. 
going to move them closer together. And then I'm going to highlight and attach them together like so. So they're going to always be in that position. If I go to my shapes and I get a square, I'm going to make my wrapping paper 11 and a half inches squared. And I'm just going to change the color on that to a light gray. And I'm also going to arrange and center back. I want them to be perfectly centered. So I'm going to highlight both align and center them. I want to make sure that my box is set to cut, but everything else is set to draw. And if I wanted to add other things all around my wrapping paper, I could. So for example, if I go to images and I type in snowflake, let's get a couple of snowflakes and I could even have them as draw or cut. It doesn't matter because I can change them to a draw. And in fact, if I want to color them in, having them as a cut, which then turn to a draw, not all of them, but a lot of them will have those double lines. So I can actually color them in if I want to. So I think something like that, and I'm going to change each of them to a draw. And then I'm just going to draw around everything and attach. So these are all going to draw, but then it's going to actually cut my wrapping paper to size for me. So I can then go to make it. And you'll see it says draw and cut and continue. And I'm going to set my cut to copy paper. So it's telling me I need to do my first pen and then it'll do all the other pens for me as well. So with the pens, I've chosen the colours I want, but the machine doesn't actually know. So even though it says yellow, I could know that actually that means a white. So I could put a glitter silver in there instead. I normally choose the colours of, of pen I'm going to use, but just because it says 0 0.4 yellow doesn't mean I can't put a glitter in. I can put whatever pens in I want the machine just needs to know that I want a different colour. And it does help to have the colour in Design Space be the colour of pen you're going to use. And it also helps if you're going to use lots of different ones. So you're going to use glitters and then fine points and gels. Set them to gel, fine point and glitter so you know which ones you're going to choose. So I'm now going to colour these in and I'm going to use a mixture of pens. So I'm going to use some of my Nouveau Glitter markers, which I absolutely love. I'm going to use some of my Nouveau Aqua Flows. And I'm going to use some of my other Nouveau pens as well. I absolutely love the way this wrapping paper turned out. I've got lots of different pens going on there. They just look great and it's just nice. It's nice to have some really plain wrapping paper and then spruce it up and make it your own. It can really set a present off. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.